Hi there, Meryl here from DiffBot, and today we're gonna to look at how a basic crawl works with DiffBot's CrawlBot. This is an incredibly powerful crawler. We use to crawl millions and millions of sites across the web. So if you already have a plus or above DiffBot plan, you can follow along if you head over to app.diffbot.com and select CrawlBot and New Crawl on the left-hand side of the screen. The first thing all crawls, crawls need is a name. So in our example, we're going to crawl an e-commerce site that sells herbal supplements. In particular, we're gonna to try to get details on all these ginseng products. So I'll name my crawl GI Crawl. Next, we're gonna need a seed URL. Our crawlbot is a web spider that follows links on pages it vis visits starting with one or multiple seed URLs. If you only wanna crawl a portion of a site, you can strategically choose a seed URL for say a category of pages. Alternatively, if you wanna crawl every page on a site, you could start somewhere like a sitemap or the base URL. On iHerb.com, their ginseng category of products are at the URL forward slash C forward slash ginseng. Each ginseng product page is linked to from one of these category pages, as well as all the pagination pages containing other ginseng products. Next, we'll choose an extraction API. This is the API you want to process the crawled page. DiffBot offers two general types of extraction APIs, automatic and custom. Automatic APIs are AI-enabled APIs that are built to pull relevant information from a given page type. These APIs don't require any rules to return information on common page types, like product pages, article pages, events, and more. If you don't know which automatic API to choose, pick Analyze API, which will route you to the best automatic API. Automatic APIs work for a vast majority of the web, but if you have a particularly unique page or one that doesn't fit into these major category types, you may need a custom API. We'll dive more into custom APIs in a future video, but for now, you can just select product. Moving on, we have crawling limits. These are ways to clar clarify which pages should be crawled. Most notably, you can specify to only crawl URLs that contain certain characters or match URLs with regex. You can also cap your crawl at a max number of pages and specify how many hops you should take. This is how many links away from your seed URLs your crawler should move. In our case, one hop is enough to get to every product page on the first paginated page of results. One page also gets you to the second and third, which is the final, pagination page. And a second hop would be needed for these to get to the product pages. So we can specify a maximum of two hops. If you want unlimited hops, just keep max hops at negative one. As far as specifying crawling patterns, you can note that each one of the products contains forward slash PR forward slash in the URL. And each ginseng category page contains forward slash C forward slash ginseng. As I continue down the page, there are obviously many other ways to tweak your crawl, but these are more advanced topics we'll get to in another video. The next important category is processing limits. This is where we mention which crawled pages we want to pass to our product API for processing. In our case, we want to crawl through category pagination pages, but we only want to process pages that are about ginseng products. So I'll specify forward slash PR forward slash. If you're following along, this is all you need to crawl, the specific example. Head to the bottom of the screen and click Submit. This should take you to, the, to your crawler status page. It'll let you know the job is initialized, the job is in progress, and the important fields here might be when the job is started and completed, pages crawled, and pages processed. As pages are crawled, you can check on the latest URLs that your crawlers run through with your live URL report. You can use this to verify that you are indeed crawling through the pages you intend to. In our case, this looks all good. Once a few pages have been processed, you can see the, the results from your product API call in either JSON or CSV. Note that without any rules, we were able to taint to return a ton of valuable data about these products, including name, price, quantity, dimensions, the page URL, the category of the product, expiration date, even reviews, uh, and even more. So thanks for following along. And as you begin to master Crawlbot, please return to the other videos if you wanna learn some more advanced techniques 